it's hilarious, it's packed with great 80s music yeah. and it is an easy fun night out. Yeah. Do you want to add anything? I, I think you've literally said <laughs> everything. <laughs> we can, well, yeah, no, that was spot on, Joe. <laughs> and just to come and see it, that's the only thing. Yeah. Well, and we will point. make you laugh, we will make you dance, we will make you sing. You can do it all. So the first three or four shows, we kind of took some jokes out, put some ones in, yeah. tested out the material, because essentially, you can't know whether people are going to find it funny until they laugh or they don't. Exactly. There's no, you know, there's no way of finding out. So um, we were quite lucky that most of it they found pretty funny. Yeah, so, there's like tweaks here and there yeah. really with the show. And it's mostly about timing. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. how you deliver the line and facial expression to match the line that you're saying. And um, so yeah, it's it, 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 we're, we were very blessed that the writers really kind of fine-tuned it before we even got it in front of an audience so that that made it 10 times easier for us. Yeah. It was time. a hell of a lot to learn in a yeah, very short space of time, didn't we? But um, once, once I got over that hurdle, um, I just, I don't even have to think about it anymore. Yeah. We just kind of know, we're like, we have our little routines beforehand. I always have an Airways yeah. chewing gum. I don't know why it makes me feel like I've got air. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why every single night. Um, so whatever floats your boat, if it works, it works. <laughs> We always give ourselves limits and, oh, can I do this, can yeah. I do that? The answer is yes, you can always do it. It's just that, well, how you can organise your life, basically. If you have a partner, if you don't have a partner, if you're, yeah. and you have a child, um, somehow we have, we're way stronger than I think people, you, you sometimes realise yourself. Like, when we're, when we're against, against all odds, somehow you kind of just have to push yeah. through it and get it done kind of thing. And, and it, is one, it is the most rewarding part of my life that I've ever experienced and this is the most beautiful thing and I still can't believe she's mine. I look at her still to this day and I, I can't believe it. And um, and I'm, I feel very blessed that I can work and because there's a stigmatism attached to it as well where they're yeah. like, oh, your mum. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't stop you from like doing other things. If you exactly. enjoy it, you should be able to, to, to work or not to work. Yeah. Um, you should be able to travel or not travel. Like, you should. Everyone needs to do whatever they want to do in life. And but it is the most beautiful experience, and you can do it. All. That's what I would say. Don't ever oh, let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, I think I'd come to terms with who I was and I was kind of almost ready to to discuss who I was publicly yeah. and I felt it was important. I, I was getting ready to release an album and I knew I was going to be asked loads of questions about relationships and because the press were very intrusive anyways. Um, I, so I, I, I kind of was coming round to the fact that it was something I was going to talk about. I hadn't decided when, but I knew I w it was going to be pretty soon. And then when that moment happened, I uh, obviously lost full control of, of that moment um, and then had to take control of it quite quickly. I think within the space of about four days Oh wow! Um, from being hacked to then to actually publicly coming out and it being on the front page of a newspaper. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I think it, it, it I, I can't say that it ruined my moment of, of doing that, but it was it wasn't helpful, shall we say. It forced your hand to, to release it quicker than you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's coming out story is very different, and not everybody's is the same. And there's no rule book on how you should come out or who it should be to, or you have to feel comfortable with who you are, you know. And nobody should force you to discuss that until you're ready, you know? But I do think it's important to find people that you can talk with and be open with. Um, that doesn't have to be everyone, but it also helps to talk to people. And, you know, uh, for, for me, it was, I thought it was gonna be a huge deal. And it was gonna be like, a, in your mind, you build it up to be this kind of, you know, life ending thing that like, everybody's gonna be shock horror. And like, oh my God, that's terrible and everything, because that's just, naturally how you think you're going to feel yeah. um, and for me it was it was really not a big deal you know I, having to do the interviews with the press and everything was a big deal yeah. but actually the the initial coming out everyone was just like well done congratulations however I do realize that for some people it's not as plain sailing yeah, as that like family you know? background religion yeah so 100 percent so it's you have to be mentality. ready you have to be ready yourself you know and and nobody should 
force you to have to do that, you know. Sleep. No. <laughs> yeah. For three days anyway. <laughs> some sleep. No. Um, well, I, when we finish this, I go out on tour, on a solo tour um, to celebrate 10 years of, yes, yeah. of X Factor. Yeah. Um, and then I'm doing pantomime in Birmingham this Christmas. So that pretty much takes me right up until February next year. And then sleep, and then sleep, and then sleep, yeah. Any reunion, sugar baby reunion? I think so. It comes up quite a bit, like here and there. It's, I think it's more like who would be in the lineup. But from my perspective, I think it, if it's going to happen, it should be everyone to, to have everyone who brought what, what the end product. It wasn't just one person that did it, or two, or three. Yeah. It was six of us yeah, that yeah, completed yeah. this whole. I want to call it an art piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, your so their songs are so iconic. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I would love to go to a Sugar Babes gig, oh, especially yeah. now I know you have to get front row. Yeah, and backstage. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I think it will happen in the future. It's just when, kind of. Yeah. <laughs>